I had this experience recently where I was at a class, in fact, it's happened a few times now, and I pulled out all of my spice tins, which are these, and um, <laughs> instead of being met with joy, I was met with a kind of horror. And I was so surprised because for me, they're so beautiful and, um, and I'm so used to, to the normal reaction, which is like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I can't wait to get stuck in. And I've had actually a few students in recent times express to me their overwhelm at me opening all these tins and then looking at it and then looking at me and then looking at our two hour class and, and you know, they kind of run into that brick wall of too much information straight away which um, gave me pause because for me, sharing spice is really about engendering connection between you and this. And if, if the first experience that you have is not connection, but actual um, terror, well, I guess I feel like I haven't done my job properly. So one of the ways that I'm starting to combat that is to offer this okay now what this is is essentially um, a starter kit of spice and within this starter kit is seven spices that encompass a range of aromatic categories not all of them but encompass enough of a range of aromatic category that from this one um, masala dabba or spice tin, you could begin to experiment with spice and really build some incredibly interesting uh, dishes, allowing the beginning of an experimentation. So in Indian food, but also just experimentation with using spice every day in some way in your life. And you don't necessarily have to change your roster of dishes, but you can add to the dishes that you love with these elements of masala at the bottom and just create really unique flavor profiles. So essentially what we have here is a fine pink salt. So salt is um, the driver of flavor. You have one bitter spice, so turmeric powder, which is a very forgiving bitter. I um, mean, it's very familiar to people across the world now in, through the West because of, um, I guess, the health properties and the attention that's been on it in recent years. Uh, ginger powder, again, a familiar spice, cumin seed, Kashmiri chili because it's a softer chili. Um, there's cinnamon powder and amchur, which is a dried green mango powder, which is a really soft acidity. So it's a very warm palette of spice, very earthy, mild heat, mild acidity. And obviously you can add to this with your own spices at home. Instead of providing food recipes for these, or this dubba, I provide uh, four different styles of uh, masala that you can then use in any way that you like. So there's like a hot experience, there's a warm experience, there's an acidic experience and there's an earthy experience um, of flavour. And then you can translate that into um, the base of your favourite pumpkin soup or you can use it as a spice rub on your roast vegetables or your roast meats or as a marinade base or in a dal or in a curry. You can translate them from Indian or outside of Indian cuisine into whatever cuisine is your home base so that you don't necessarily have to change your roster of dishes. So the recipes that you get are like, they're recipe cards, they're printed so that you can, you can keep them in the kitchen and, or keep them with your spice tin and just every time you go to use it, cross-reference. Um, and just what, what recipes allow when it comes to masala, because there are four different styles, is you'll begin to identify by using those recipes, um, the alchemy of the spices that you have and how to manipulate flavor. Because by doing something and, and, and noticing what you're doing, um, it's the easiest way to understand, oh, if I want a warm blend, right, then I use more cinnamon and more ginger and less, um, less acidity and if I want a hotter blend I drop back the warmth and drive forward the heat and the salt so there's just the language seems sophisticated but the usage the basic usage of doing that day to day means that you begin to acclimatize to um, how to get to an end result and so you might start with this but as you get more comfortable bring in other spices 
bring in fresh spices, bring in other spices from your larder um, to start to expand uh, your um, spice story, I guess, the way that you tell the story of you through your food. So I, I don't advertise that I sell them, but I do sell them mainly because it's uh, there's postage involved and all those sorts of things. But if you are interested, you get the seven spices, the tin, um, the little spoon, and then my recipes uh, alongside, and it's a little bit the beginning of a spice journey. So it's, it's a relatable way uh, to work with aromatics if you feel like all of this is just a bit too much, or if you're not that invested. You're not everyone is so invested that they want all of it. They just want a part of it. So this is a piece that um, that we can share that's really accessible. So if you if you'd like more information or if you'd like to order, you just be in touch. Either if this is on Instagram via direct message, via email on my website serenacarmony.com. Just follow all the links wherever you are through to the bios, and you'll be able to, to be in touch to um, to chat to me about that. But yeah, it's a beginner's spice dubber. It's just a way to begin to embrace spice, um, I guess in a gentle way without the overwhelm, if that's what it feels like for you.